obtain the z parameters for the network in figure here in this two port network we have to find z parameters of this two port network solution here we can see this is port 1 with voltage v1 so this will be positive this will be negative this will be current i1 and this will be current i2 and this will be voltage v2 this will be positive and this will be negative now as we can see it have four terminals 1 2 3 and 4 these two terminals forms port 1 and these two terminals forms port 2 so we have to find z parameter so first we will write expression for z parameters the expression for z parameters is v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 now in case of z parameters v1 and v2 are dependent and i1 and i2 are independent these v1 and v2 are depend on i1 and i2 and the coefficients of i1 and i2 are z parameters that is z11 z12 z21 and z22 these are the z parameters so we have to find first we have to find z11 and z21 by substituting i2 is equal to 0 to make i2 is equal to 0 we have to open circuit port 2 and here we have to consider a voltage source so we will write consider a voltage source at port 1 and open circuit port 2 So here we have to open circuit port two. This will be a voltage source now. So this is positive and this is negative, and its voltage will be V one, and this will be open circuited. So I two is equal to zero. Now. Here in this equation, let's say this is equation number one, and this is equation number two. So again, we will write these equations and set I two is equal to zero. Since I two is equal to zero, so V one is equal to Z one one I one, and here this will be V two is equal to Z two one I one. This term and this term will be zero. Now from here, Z one one is equal to therefore Z one one is equal to V one divided by I one, and from here Z two one is equal to V two divided by I two. V two divided by I one. Now here in this circuit. first we will simplify this circuit and apply kvl to this loop let's say this is current this is mesh 1 suppose we have to find this voltage v1 or we will apply kvl here so before applying kvl first we will simplify these three resistors as we can see this 4 ohm and 2 ohm are connected in series so this will be 4 plus 2 6 ohm and this 6 ohm is in parallel with this 6 ohm so first we will write like this this will be 6 ohm and this 6 ohm parallel with 6 ohm so this will be 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 so this will be 3 ohm now again we will redraw the circuit so here this will be this 
this will be three ohm now here let's say this is mesh one so by applying apply kvl to mesh one so according according to kvl kirchhoff's voltage law according to the direction of this current i1 this will be positive and this will be negative here this will be positive this will be negative let's say we will start from here so this will be minus v1 then plus 1 into i1 so directly we can write i1 then plus 3 into i1 so plus 3 plus 3 into i1 is equal to 0 so this will be minus v1 and this will be plus 4 plus 4 i1 is equal to 0 now this will be v1 is equal to 4 i1 so this will be v1 divided by i1 is equal to 4 and v1 divided by i1 is z11 but v1 v1 divided by i1 is equal to z11 so therefore z11 is equal to 4 and since it is impedance so its unit will be ohm so this is the value of z11 now again in this circuit here in this circuit we will redraw this and find the value of v2 so here the value for v2 will be this voltage the voltage across this 2 ohm the current through this 2 ohm will be this current i1 we have to use current division rule here suppose the current through this 2 ohm is i2 ohm now by using current division rule we have to find the value of i2 ohm so this will be i2 ohm is equal to i2 ohm is equal to main current main current is i1 multiplied by opposite branch resistance opposite branch resistance is 6 ohm divided by total resistance so total resistance is 6 plus 4 plus 2 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 so this will be i1 and this will be 6 divided by 6 plus 4 plus 2 6 plus 4 plus 2 so this will be 0 0.5 so i1 into 0 0.5 this is the value for i2 ohm now from here we can find the value of v2 and v2 is equal to this 2 ohm multiplied by i2 ohm so v2 is equal to 2 into i2 ohm but the value for i2 ohm is i1 into 0 0.5 so 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 i1 0 0.5 i1 so therefore v2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 is 1 so this will be 1 i1 that is v2 is equal to i1 so here we can see v2 divided by i1 is equal to 1 but v2 divided by v2 divided by i1 is z21 but z21 is equal to v2 divided by i1 so therefore z21 is equal to 1 and again it is impedance so its unit will be ohm so this is the value for z21 now next we have to find the value for z12 
एंड Z22. टू टू सो अगेन फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज कंसिडर अ वोल्टेज सोर्स एट पोर्ट वन एंड ओपन सर्किट पोर्ट टू नाउ सेकेंड कंडीशन इज कंसिडर अ वोल्टेज सोर्स एट पोर्ट टू एंड ओपन सर्किट पोर्ट वन सो नाउ दिस टाइम वी विल ओपन सर्किट पोर्ट वन Now consider a voltage source at port two and open circuit port one. So here we have to consider a voltage source of voltage V two. So here this will be positive, this will be negative, and its voltage will be V two. And now this time, since this port one is open circuited, so I one is equal to I one is equal to zero. Now again, let's say this is mesh number two, and also we can see that this four ohm and six ohm are connected in series. So this will be. Six plus four is ten ohm, and this ten ohm is in parallel with this two ohm. So this will be ten ohm parallel with first. We will copy this circuit. Now. Ten ohm is in parallel with two ohm, so this will be ten into two divided by ten plus two. So ten into two divided by ten plus two. So it is one point six. One point six ohm. Now we can. Again, redraw the circuit and replace this this resistance with one point six ohm resistance. So this will be the circuit will look like this. And we have to change the value of resistance from two ohm to one point six ohm. Now again, here we can apply KVL. So this will be positive and this will be negative. Let's say we will start from here. So this will be minus. Apply KVL to mesh two. Let's say we will start from here. So this will be minus. Minus V two, then plus six, one point six I two is equal to zero. So from here, V two is equal to one point six I two, or we can say V two divided by I two is equal to one point six. But if we substitute here in these two equations. If we substitute, I one is equal to zero. Since I one, since I one is equal to zero, I one is equal to zero. Therefore, from this we can find the value of Z one two. Z one two is equal to V one divided by V one divided by I two. And here, this term will be also zero. So Z two two is equal to Z two two is equal to V two divided by I two, V two divided by I two. So V two divided by I two is one point six. So therefore, Z two two is equal to one point six ohm. This is the value for Z two two. Now, next is 
Z12 only remained. So to find Z12, we have to find the value of V1. So V1 is the voltage across this 6 ohm and V1 is equal to V1 is equal to this current. Let's say this current is I6 ohm. So by using current division rule, we can find the value of I6 ohm. So I6 ohm is equal to this current that is I2 multiplied by opposite branch resistance. Opposite branch is 2 divided by total resistance is 2 plus 4 plus 6. So 2 plus 4 plus 6. So this will be I2 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6. So it is 0 0.16. 0 0.16 is the value for I6 ohm. Now from here, this V1 is equal to I6 ohm multiplied by or 6 ohm multiplied by directly V1 is equal to 6 multiplied by I6 ohm. So V1 is equal to here we will write in here we will write this V1 is equal to 6 into I6 ohm so this will be 6 into I6 ohm the value for I6 ohm is I2 into 0 0.16 0 0.16 into I2 so this will be we have to multiply this answer by 6 so it is 1 1 1 I 2 so therefore V1 is equal to 1 I 2 that is directly I 2 so from here V1 divided by I 2 is equal to 1 and V1 divided by I 2 is V1 divided by I 2 is Z 1 2 but Z 1 2 is equal to V1 by V1 by I2 so therefore Z12 is equal to 1 ohm now we have the value for Z11 Z12 Z21 and Z22 so therefore from here the impedance matrix Z is equal to Z11 Z12 Z21 and Z22 The value for Z11 is Z11 is 4 ohm. So this will be 4. The value for Z12 is 1 ohm. So this will be 1. The value for Z21 is the value for Z21 is again 1 ohm. So this will be 1. And the value for Z22 is 1.6 ohm so this will be 1.6 so this is the impedance matrix since it is impedance so its unit will be ohm what we have to find in this question we have to find obtain the z parameters for the network so the z parameters of this network is this and this is our final answer